Hi, I'm Eric from Stinger. Today we're going to be giving this boat a radio overhaul by installing the SPX M1 from Stinger Electronics. Don't be fooled by its small size, the M1 is packed with tons of useful features. The front panel is super rugged and water resistant, so it's ready to withstand the elements on your boat. It also has a 7 band built in EQ, a 4 channel power amplifier, easy subwoofer control, and multiple inputs. In today's installation, we're going to be teaming it up with the super powerful Switch Hub. Switch Hub is a solid state, 4 channel accessory controller with high current capabilities. Together, the SPX M1 and the Switch Hub make adding accessories to your boat and controlling them incredibly easy. Installation in a boat does require routing through some tricky places and working in some small spaces. So we rate this installation of four out of four pry tools on our installation difficulty scale. Before we get started, let's take a look at the tools we're gonna to use in this installation. Allen wrenches, adjustable wrench, drill, 5 32nds drill bit, Phillips screwdriver, small flathead screwdriver, crimpers, butt connectors, zip ties, heat shrink, heat gun, and bullet connectors. Before we can begin installing our SPX M1, we need to remove the existing radio from the boat. To do this in your boat, you can either go up through the center hole, or if you're lucky enough to have a speaker near the radio like we do, you can remove the speaker to easily get to the bracket behind the radio. Most of your marine radios are held in with either four screws or a U-shaped bracket. Just get to that hardware and remove it so you can take the radio out. Now we'll just reach in and remove the bracket that's securing the radio into the dash. The SPX M1 is designed to mount in a three inch hole. So if your boat doesn't already have a radio, take a three inch hole saw, figure out where you want to mount the M1 and drill a hole to mount the M1 into. If you're lucky enough to have a three inch hole in your boat, you can just go ahead and stick the M1 in the dash. In this particular boat, we've got a rectangular hole that we're dealing with. So we're using our dash mounting accessory bracket. This is basically a plastic bracket that gives us a three inch hole for the M1 to sit into. We've cut out the template. We're gonna line this up on the dash of the boat where we want the M1 to sit. We're gonna tape it to the dash so that we can drill the four pilot holes. Thread the four bolts into the plastic receivers, being careful not to insert them too far. You don't want to dimple the front of the plastic. Now that we have the four mounting holes drilled for our, our mounting posts, we can remove the template and install the bracket. Now using the supplied nuts, thread them onto the back of the mounting posts. Before we drop down into the center console and start wiring up the switch hub, we're gonna make all the wiring connections to the wiring harness for the SPX M1. If you're installing into a boat that has an existing radio, simply cut all the wires and connect the new wires matching color for color. If it's a fresh install and there was no radio before, extend these leads out to where you're mounting your new speakers. In an installation like we're doing, where we're using an amplifier, we're not gonna use the speaker outputs from the M1 so we can clip these off. We're gonna use the remote turn on to turn on our amplifier. We're gonna connect power and ground and we're also gonna connect the illumination wire. The SPX M1 has backlit buttons with the illumination wire connected to the boat's lighting. They'll turn on and off with the boat's lighting. Now we're just going to install two zip ties on our wiring to keep things a little neater inside the boat.
Now we're ready to get into the center console and wire up the switch hub. All right, now we're ready to wire up our switch hub, which is our four channel solid state relay. It's gonna do the job of what these four relays and harnesses used to do for us, but in a much cleaner package. So we've gone ahead and mounted one here on our amplifier rack where we have our amplifier mounted. We're gonna connect power into the main power input and we're gonna connect a ground reference wire. Now we can take our positive leads from our accessories that we wanna control with the switch hub and connect those into the outputs of the switch hub. The grounds are gonna be connected to the ground point in the boat. Now we're gonna connect our four trigger wires that are gonna connect from the M1 to the switch hub. The switch hub is configured to accept either positive or negative inputs. All of the outputs from the M1 are positive, so we're gonna to connect to the positive inputs on the switch hub. Because the M1 features a USB input, we're gonna go ahead and remove this factory 12 volt cigarette lighter plug and we're gonna install our USB and aux extension cable. Simply unconnect the connector and unscrew the back and remove the factory power outlet. Take the cables and pass them through the hole. And then thread on the locking nut over the cables onto the back of the module. Now we'll just pass these cables up to the opening where the M1 is going to connect. Now we're ready to make the wiring connections on the back of our SPX M1. We're going to start by connecting in our trigger leads, which we put bullet connectors on. We're going to plug those right into the bullets. We're going to put heat shrink tubing over each one of these so that we can heat shrink our connections just to make sure they stay solid. Since we have an amplifier in this vehicle, we're gonna hook up our RCAs to the amplifier outputs. Connect our aux input. Antenna. And then plug in the main power harness. Now we're ready to tuck the wires inside the dash and finish installing the SPX M1 into the dash adapter. So now that we've got the SPX M1 temporarily set in position, we're gonna drill some pilot holes so that our mounting hardware can be passed through and we can thread the nuts onto the backside. Now we're ready to mount the M1 into the dash. We're gonna use the mounting hardware that came with four bolts. We're gonna go right through the front of the M1 and secure the nuts on the back. The M1 also comes with a U-shaped bracket, just like the radio that was in here had before. Whatever works in your boat, use the correct hardware and complete the installation. Two last little things to do. We're gonna put on this trim ring, which makes it look super clean. And speaking of clean, I'm gonna grab a rag and clean off these fingerprints I made on this awesome looking display. And that's all it takes. Now we've upgraded our boat with the SPX M1 and the switch hub. We're ready to rock this boat and control all of our accessories. We hope you enjoyed this install video. Thanks for watching.